Okay, so this is a uh, tutorial on how to set up a3.djs. So the first thing that you need to do is to make a folder in which we will place the bar and any dbi2. So in order to do that, open up the Arma 3 launcher. And then you copy it, copy it as a local mod, select the folder that you just made, and that should copy the entire contents of the a3.djs mod. So the next thing that you do is that you repeat the process with any dbi2. If you do not have it, you get it from Steam Workshop. After you've copied any DBI2 as a local mod, you can then also load it in the launcher so that it is ready. Then you go back into the folder that you created previously. And you go into the a3.tjs uh, folder and you copy out the Discord bot and the config file. and just paste it right in there. Then after that, what you can do is delete the a 3 djs folder because we do not need it anymore. So you should now have two folders and a config file. The dbi 2 a 3djs discord bot, and the a 3djs config. The next thing that we're gonna do is to initialize the dbi files and the way that we're going to do that is by starting a game. Make sure that you have the local version of any DBI2 that you just copied into the folder and the Steam Workshop version of a3.djs loaded as well as CBA A3. Then once your game has loaded, just start a game in editor, place one unit and press play. And with that, all of the any DBI2 files should be initialized, and we can start setting up the actual bot. So, if you look at the config file, what we need is a token, server ID, bot ID, and owner ID. So we can get some of that data by opening up Discord, going to the server that we are going to use and then we first activate developer mode in the user settings so first we copy the server ID by right clicking on the icon of the server and go, go all the way down and select copy ID then paste it in next is the owner ID same thing copy ID and paste it where it says owner so now we are missing the actual bot, the bot ID, and the bot token. So for that, we're going to create a bot. Go to Discord Developers Portal and select New Application. Type in the name and create the app. Once the application is created, copy the application ID, which is the same as your bar ID. Then paste it into the config file where it says bot ID. Next, go to the bot section on the left side and click add bot. Then you reset the token and copy it, and of course paste it into the config file where it says token. So with that, the config file is ready. The next step is to add the bot to your server. So uh, first step is to activate the gateway intents. For that, go to the bot section again and 
activate all three. All three are necessary to run the bot. Next go to OAuth2 and the URL generator and select bot and then administrator. You can play around with the permissions, however, if you want my guarantee that it's going to work, then choose administrator because that is how I developed it. Then copy the URL at the bottom and paste it into a new tab on your browser and you add the bot to the same server that you copied the ID from earlier. Both the bot and the config file should now be in order and the bot is ready in your server, it just needs to be booted up. Now in order to complete the next step you need to have Node.js installed on your computer so make sure you get that one before continuing. So now I go to the bot folder that we created in the beginning and I copy the path. So uh, for the next step we're going to use the terminal. I'll be using Windows PowerShell. Then I type in CD and I use one double quote meaning shift two. I paste in the path and then I close it with a another double quote using shift 2. That will navigate me into the actual folder. Yeah, I should have navigated directly all the way in, uh, so I'm gonna copy the name of the Discord bot folder and CD into it. Press enter once you've copied it. So first we install the dependencies by typing in npm install. Then once that is done, we can start the bot by typing in node dot and press enter. So the bot is working and now if we go into the Discord server that we set up, uh, you can see that there are three new channels. Now the channel that says mute me, that's basically a spam channel where the bot spams new satellite images of the in-game situation. And the live feed uh, is an embed that updates itself with uh, in-game data. And then you have the chat channel, which basically sends in-game chat to Discord. And if you type in it, that chat will be sent to Arma 3. And so my recommendation is that you mute the mute me channel and set it to private so that people don't get bothered with it. So now we're going to start up Arma 3 and in order to make this work you gotta have the local version of any DVI 2 that you copied into the folder that we made in the beginning. Then you need CBA A3 in order to tweak the settings and then you need A3.djs from Steam Workshop. So the only local mod, mod that you need is the InnoDBI2. Okay, so I started a game and I'm just gonna check that the in-game data is reflected to the Discord server. I'm not gonna go through all of the chats and all of the different commands uh, in this video probably the next one which will be a demo video and uh, finally i really do hope you uh, find this useful and enjoyable because this was a huge project for me and kind of a passion project so enjoy <laughs>